seconds and counting. good yo welcome back to another video i'm anisha i'm joined here with dj and today we're going to be talking about the rockets preseason games the one against the wizards and the one against the heat both very exciting games very exciting to see our young guys get out there for a, in a while like the last time we saw especially our rookies play was the summer league and so now we get to see them in action in preseason and it's been very exciting and so um dj i'm gonna ask you what were your general thoughts on these two games? So, like, pauses, negatives, just those um, main stuff like that. All right. Well, honestly, it, it's pretty much what we have expected. This team that we have built, it's very young. They make a lot of mistakes. And honestly, they're not going to win too many games this season. But that's okay because this is the most fun team that I have watched since – I came into basketball in like 2013. It's it's just fast pace. All the guys are trying their hardest. They're hustling, playing defense, and just a blur, a flash when it comes to transition. Our our young guys, KPJ, Green, they're all absolute buckets. If we start with like KPJ on the Wizards in the very first game, he dropped 25 points had shot five for nine from three and that's an amazing uh, amazing uh, increase if he can keep that up he definitely worked on his three-pointer at the most this offseason and honestly I feel like if he just focuses on that and setting up his teammates like a Jalen Green and like Christian Wood whoever's out there with him this team is this year is just going to be amazing for him when developmentally um, Jalen Green in this first game, he didn't have the best game, but he did show some flashes. He had a lot of great looks, created a lot of great separation, and his first step. I remember in this, um, in the first game against the Wizards, he had this one play where he took out where he took Kuzma to the top of the, um, not top of the key, but like top of the wing, and just absolutely like crossed crossed him over, got straight to the rim for a contested what should have been honestly been an and one. And his first step is just lightning quick. He creates so much separation and he's just going to be a bucket in this league. He only finished with 12 points, but he showed a lot, a lot of great flashes. Um, another great thing about this is Alperin Sengun. There's not, too, there's not much bad stuff to say about Sengun. I just, I love this guy. He hasn't taken a three yet. And I just, which, and he's kind of like hesitant to do so. I kind of want him to work on that and just, you know, be a little bit more aggressive on offense. But other than that, his playmaking ability, he's honestly, I believe, the second best playmaker on a team right after KPJ. And that's crazy because he's really giving me Nikola Jokic vibes. The way that he can just take the ball from the high post and from the high and from the top of the key do a quick little crossover, get to the cup, and just, you know, either dish it out to a cutting or a run, running teammate or just pass it out. These crazy thread the needle passes or even just using his footwork to get an easy layup or bulldoze his way if with contact and one. Al P is just, he's literally going to be the steal of the draft. And he doesn't need any reps in the G League. He's ready for NBA minutes. But, um, but yeah, man, Alperen Sengu, he just always seems to do everything right, offensively, defensively, and it's it's really surprising because I did not know this man would be that good. I really did not. He's just a sh been a, he's been a shock to me, and I I just absolutely love it. Yeah, I think I we just love to see our rookies get time. Even Josh Christopher showing a lot of good um moments in like the final game, like for the Heat game, and for example. He went five of ten from the field. He didn't shoot all that well from three, but he he did score twelve points in that game. And in the Wizards game, he was four of five from the field, three of three from three. So absolutely incredible. I think one of the biggest knocks from college for Josh Christopher was his three point shooting. And now that he's kind, of, I mean, he's going to be up and down, right? He was hundred percent from 
three in the Wizards game and then 0% from three in the Heat game. So that's going to be uh, something to look out for. Garuba didn't get too, too many minutes. Um, He's probably someone who's likely going to be sent to the G League, but that's not necessarily a bad thing by any means. And like when you um, mentioned like green, like although we're going to, we might be bad this season, just knowing that we have green just makes the losing seasons more bearable, more entertaining. And definitely like we're, this season's going to be entertaining, uh, pretty competitive. And I just want to mention that like, it was kind of weird seeing John Wall on the bench, not being with all the starters, but him taking that kind of, assistant coach role the highest paid assistant coach in the NBA I think that shows a lot about who he is as like a player in this league and I really hope he finds a good landing spot and about green like him kind of being hot and cold I think that was like one of the things he kind of expected like in the G League him kind of being like he can get hot uh, at any time from beyond the arc but he has that boom and bust ability but I think it's like possible for green to have many 20 point games this season um like at least a third or not a third I don't know that might be a hot take but I think green has that special scoring ability that we like to see but um let's enough about the rookies I guess but let's talk about like our guys from last season uh KPJ and Christian Wood what did you see from them uh what pauses or negatives did you take well okay from these two games I have noticed that uh I feel like our starters specifically with like Christian Wood and Daniel House in this case, I think they were trying to do a little bit too much on the offensive end. It ended up kind of hurting them. And also uh, free throw shooting, this doesn't apply to them specifically, but just the it pro- pretty much the entire team in general. I know it's like, it's preseason only. They're probably not like fully in shape and like, you know, it, it, it's a lot different taking free throws like in practice versus like in game when you're tired and just like, you know, the, the cardio, it, it, it's all like catching up to you. So I get that. I'm not going to rush, I'm not going to be about it too much, but, uh, but Christian would like, I really need you to really like improve your free throw shoot. He, he definitely has the capability to. And if he does that, I feel like that's like the one thing he just really needs to improve on this season. And with Daniel House, he just had an off game. A lot of people are like going a little too far. Oh, trade House, he's useless. No, no, no. He he just had an off game. Give him another chance. It was a last minute um start anyways, as Jay Sean Tate was not playing against the against the, he was ruled out against the Heat because of a little back tightness, and you know, they don't want to take any chances during preseason. So he, they just quickly ruled him out last minute and gave Daniel House the starting nod. And, you know, he wasn't really ready. He wasn't really expecting it. And that's okay, especially because it's preseason. This is what it's for. It's to get reps, you know, find out what you need to work on as soon as the season's starting. And it's not it's nothing too bad. But, um, yeah, regarding just our vets in general, um, Daniel Tice, I've actually been pleasantly surprised with him. He is fairly efficient from the mid-range. And, I, and he's a really good pick and roll and just like a rim running center. I feel like he's, he's, whenever he's on the floor, Christian Wood is definitely forced to do a lot more of like spacing. And that's not necessarily his like strength as his strength is, you know, being like uh, a pick and roll and, you know, rim running alley-oop catching center, sometimes working on his post moves or, or taking it off the dribble from the, um in the mid range and getting to the cup. That's like his specialty, but he is being forced to be more of like a perimeter oriented at the four, which he definitely needs to get reps with. And if he can do that, him and Daniel Tice are actually going to make a fairly decent and like, I feel like they can definitely complement each other really well, which is really nice to say because I, I really like the Daniel Tice and Kevin Porter Jr. pick and rolls, whatever they're running out together. It, it's definitely it's definitely working. So I definitely want to hope Silas takes notes of that and you know gets gets more reps with them going as long as it doesn't affect Christian Woods' game. Yeah, I, when we signed Daniel Tice, a lot of people were questioning like why sign Tice like especially to like a three year deal. Um, like he doesn't really like it's, it was kind of like an out of ordinary signing. Like I don't I didn't expect Stone to make such a signing like that, but I thought like he'd be a nice fit with Wood, and it kind of proved that. Um, and some in the preseason games, obviously the sample size is very small, but I think Tice is a nice addition for this team. And he really is like taking on that veteran role, like he mentioned in his press conferences. 
And especially trying to help like Sangoon and Garuba transition from like a Euroleague atmosphere to NBA atmosphere. So Tice has been a great addition so far. And like a lot of about like Woods free throw shooting, a lot of people were like wondering like why he's having some of these struggles. And like like they know like he's a good finisher and a, like a decent uh, three point shooter. So they're wondering like why is he like having this much trouble? So uh, hopefully Wood will like uh, definitely clear this up. He's been kind of talking about it on Twitter, like <laughs> responding to fans about his free throw shooting. And he said he he knows that that's like something he needs to work on. So that's good to see. And KBJ, like I mentioned with Wall out, he's finally gets to be that point guard position that he's always wanted to play. And um, in his first game, he had five assists. And then second game, he had four assists. Um, I think um, some people were wondering, like, why he didn't look more to, like, pass at some times. Like, he was um, going to, like, like looking to score first. That's totally fine. I, he's still learning, like, the role, I guess. But um, those are some things that I noticed from the preseason games. But um uh what else what else um did you notice like about our like bench unit or something like that there is one more thing i really want to get to talk to and that is our i want i think jackson gatlin coined this term the cpr squad with um just dante exum armani brooks um josh christopher uh kj martin and like uh garuba and Al alp like getting like big man minutes that lineup is honestly my favorite to watch. They're just they're just so fun, young, energetic, and everyone seems to know their role. I, I've actually been really, really pleased with Dante Exum's play. You know, we didn't get to see much of it last year because, you know, he was just like injured or just not playing the whole time. And honestly, when we gave him that extension, I was really, like, surprised. I, I, it came out of nowhere, in my opinion. But then, you know, I heard talks about how he had a really good uh, Olympics performance when he played with um, Australia. So I looked back, and he did. And he's honestly proving it right now. He's being a very good, like, tertiary, I, I would say, yeah, like, like, like a third uh, playmaker and just, like, good defender good size I feel like he's gonna end up getting like a lot of minutes depending on matchups when it comes to um back backup point guard he's gonna share him with DJ Augustine like if they're if we're playing like um I don't know like the, like the Utah Jazz I feel like we would play X of over um over Augustine when when we have to guard their backup point guard which is I think I think Jordan Clarkson's their backup guard because you know those two can easily match up against each other but um yeah he's been pretty he's been really really well playmaking wise defensively wise and get to the other guys sniper armani brooks has just been lights out shooting as always we know what he's capable of doing and i'm just waiting for the rockets to give him his contract i think right now still he's on a, a training camp slash like 10 day until like the season starts i i i I don't just think I know that the Rockets are definitely going to like look to either get him on a two way deal or sign him to like an actual contract if they like maybe like trade someone or, you know, find a way to open up a roster spot. They're definitely going to look to do that because Armani is just he's amazing. Every team needs an Armani Brooks. He's just so fun. Um, other guys like uh. Garuba and Alp have been, you know, anchoring that that center position defensively. Uh, uh, Garuba's been, you know, just contesting a, a ton of shots. Alp's been working his magic, playmaking, scoring, doing everything, defending uh, from the high post to like, you know, you have defending in the paint. He's doing his thing. Um, KJ Martin has been, you know, doing his thing also, just being a bouncy, super uber athletic wing and kind of just um defending not 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 as well as i wanted to and he's also not shooting as well as i wanted to i remember like towards the end of last year kj has really like uh shot a lot well where you could actually plug him as like the three in the lineups and he wasn't really like like a liability on when it comes came to uh perimeter scoring but i feel like right now he kind of is he needs to get his shot a little bit back but that's going to come with time and then we talked about it before a little bit. Josh Christopher just, he he really plays with a, a, a great motor on him. Just super, super, plays with a lot of heart. And he, he carries. He really, like, 
gives these guys motivation and like to, he brings that defensive intensity and you know defense is contagious when one person sees like another player playing defense the whole team wants to step step up and like pick it up a notch you know so when josh christopher is doing that as well as when he's hot offensively and he's able we're able to rally through and show that hey our uh our third stringers our rookies our really really young guys are way better than yours and once our uh, like some of our vets are gone like john wall eric gordon these guys are going to slide in they're going to get more reps and this rockets team is going to be a dynasty with how young and how good their young guys are yeah and especially with stone at the helm always like constantly making moves like we saw like he made that move during a game like this man never sleeps he's always active like on any kind of trade so I mean, the, our future is very bright. I mean, Jalen Green, I, I feel like he should win Rookie of the Year this year. Like, honestly, with his scoring ability, it's just very, very special. And so, yeah, I think this team, like, like I feel bad for Silas because, like, he has to deal with these lineups. Like, I don't know how he's going to deal with who to play and whatnot. There's so many talent guys, talented guys out there, but I'm sure he's very happy that he gets to coach all these talented guys. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. We'll make a recap on the next two preseason games as well. And be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Be sure to leave the, your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Peace.